This is section 5.5, five, day two, still solving trigonometric equations. Number 47, let's add one over to the right side. So we have four cosine squared x is equal to one. Let's divide by four. And we get uh, cosine squared is one fourth. And then square root both sides. Cosine of x is plus or minus one half. Now we want to know where Cosine is plus or minus one half. That's at uh, the pi over three. So pi over three, two pi over three, four pi over three, and five pi over three. Number 59 on this one, we want to factor out a sine x. And that's going to be one plus two cosine of x. Let's set sine of x equal to zero. X is zero at zero and pi. Then one plus two cosine of X is equal to zero. Two cosine of X is equal to negative one. Let's divide by two. We have cosine of X is equal to negative one half. Cosine is negative one half at two pi over three and four pi over three. Number 66, let's, um, well, we got to change sine squared into 1 minus cosine squared. 1 minus cosine squared. We still have plus 4 cosine of x minus 5 is equal to 0. Let's distribute the 4 through. 4 minus 4 cosine squared x plus 4 cosine of x minus 5 is equal to 0. Let's make the squared term negative, so let's get everything to the other side. We have, uh, let's go this, go zero is equal to uh, four cosine squared x minus four cosine of x. And on the left side, four minus five, you know, we're gonna have negative one on the left side, so we're gonna add that over and we'll have plus one over here. Let's factor. We have two cosine of x and two cosine of x, and then minus one and minus one. <coughs> Excuse me, Th those are the same, so we only have to solve for one of them. Two cosine of x minus one is equal to zero. Two cosine of x is equal to one. Cosine of x is one half. X is one half at pi over three and five pi over three. Number 68, we got to change one of these. What if we did three cosine squared X is equal to one minus cosine squared X? Let's add a cosine squared X over. We have four cosine squared X is equal to one. Divide by 4 and square root. We have cosine of x is now plus or minus 1 half. And cosine is 1 half at the pi over 3s. So pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Number 70. Let's change sine of 2x to 2 sine of x, cosine of x, and that's equal to sine of x. Now, you might be tempted to divide both sides by sine of x, but then you're going to divide out an answer. So don't divide out anything unless you're factoring out, and that's what we want to do here. Let's minus sine x from both sides. Let's now factor out a sine of x. And we have 2 cosine of x minus 1. We want to know where sine of x is equal to 0. That's at 0 and pi. And 2 cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. We want that. And we have 2 cosine of x is equal to 1. Cosine of x is 1 half. 
and cosine is one half at pi over three and five pi over three. On number 80, let's follow the pattern of sine for an angle addition for sine. We have sine of x, cosine of pi over 3, plus sine is the same sine, cosine of x, sine of pi over 3. So that takes care of this one. Now we have the plus, and we're going to write the pattern for that one, which is sine of x cosine of pi over 3, sine is the same sine, we have minus cosine of x, sine of pi over 3, and that's equal to 1. Now this one right here, and this one, they're the same. We have 2 sine of x, uh, I'll just leave it as cosine of pi over 3 for right now, but we know what that is. Uh, this one, and this one are opposites of each other. So they cancel each other out. Equals one. Cosine of pi over three is uh, one half. Now the one half and the two cancel each other out. So we want to know where sine of x is one. X is equal to pi over two. Number 102, let's minus the cosine over and we'll minus the 6 over. We get negative 11 is equal to 2 cosine of x. Then when we divide by 2, cosine of x is equal to negative 11 halves, which is negative 11 halves is negative 5 and a half. Now the lowest cosine can possibly be is negative 1. So this one has no solution. Number 108, uh, let's minus 2 tangent over. Tangent of x, secant of x, minus 2 tangent of x is equal to 0. We can factor out the tangent, and we get secant of x minus 2. We want to know where tangent of x is equal to 0, and that's at 0 and pi. And we want to know where secant of x minus 2 is equal to 0. We want to know where secant of x is equal to 2. Well, one way to think of this is secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So that is actually the reciprocal of the left side. Let's take the reciprocal of the right side. So finding where secant of x is equal to 2 is the same as finding where cosine is equal to 1 half. And cosine is 1 half at pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. 